Hi, my name is Thompson and I'm a Crowd Reviews and this video, despite of efforts for the Danish Postal Service to lose my package, we're gonna be unboxing the LG G Flex. So here we have the LG G Flex in a very noisy container, so let's get that one out of the way as soon as possible. Just cut through this and get that out of here. Oh wait, there we go, now we can talk. So one thing to notice uh, in this box is that it is curved right up here, a nice touch because of course the main seller of the the LG Flex is the curved display. And so let's try to open it up here. It's a very nice case that LG comes with. It's kind of the same as with the G2, but it's very good. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is a big phone this is most certainly a phablet um, the G2 was in phablet space with its uh, 5.2 but they managed to have some very narrow bezels and actually it made it within the normal phone range but this is just insane I'm just gonna take that out this is the G2 compared to the LG G Flex and that is certainly some kind of size difference wow that's a big phone wow I, I mean of course it gets dwarfed by the massive Asus uh, foam pad but that was also more a tablet than it was a phone um, but this here is the LG G Flex it's a six inch display with a curved display. It's a P OLED uh, display, uh, but it only has 720 pixels and 1280 pixels. And it gives it a pixel density of 245, which is not that great in this time and age where not only are everything being released with full HD displays, but they're usually not six inches either like the G2 which is 5.2 has a full HD display this has a pixel density uh, density of about I uh, can't remember 400 and something and this one as I said a 245 so that should be a noticeable difference in the quality of the screen but I'm gonna take a look at that uh, later in my reviews what more do we have inside here? So let's finish the unboxing. We have some reading material in some different languages. We of course have a USB cable and the wall adapter to charge the phone, which we have the, the G tool here to open the SIM card slot. I'll be making a video of that. And also we have a pair of Quad B2. Port B2 headphones, these are very good headphones and uh, was given out to us with the G2 also. So I already have a pair of these and I use these every day because they are actually pretty good. They are miles ahead of the Port B1, which was just uh, horrible. Very tinny sound, but these actually give a pretty good um, uh, experience, especially for, for a pair of headphones that you get with the phone. And then there's nothing else in the box, no. So here we have all the content of the box. The phone, USB wall adapter, SIM card tray, tool, a pair of headphones and some reading materials. Let's put these things away for now and let's talk a bit about the phone. Uh, the phone is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor running at 2.26 gigahertz I believe it is and it has 2 gigs of RAM so it's a powerhouse and it has a very big uh, battery as uh, you can see here it has 3500 milliamp hours the G2 only had a f uh, f uh, what was that there was a 3000 I believe just square out 3000 uh, milliamp hour and it lasted days on that thing uh, so that should be really good. It has the same 13 megapixel camera as on the G2 
I believe it's also optical image stabilization on this one has a few different sensors uh, to sense if you're smiling or something like that it has the back keys the same as the G2 as a flash the back keys is actually pretty good if if you haven't seen my G2 coverage I really like the back keys uh, they make sense now I've been using the the Nexus 5 for a while but I'm gonna change over to using the G flex as my daily driver to test it out and see how it works and if this is too big and how the curve fit in your pocket and all that stuff um, but the fact that it has a curved display also means that you should be able to curve it a bit um, because it is flexible well you can press on it and it yes it, it touches the uh, the table the fine in the middle and bounces right back into the curve very excited to see this but let's let's try a bit of peeling off wow lg great on you listen to that usually it's just this flunk thing off but there's real tension there that's real nice good good sound uh, let's see where can we get a hold of this Right here. Yeah. Yes. Let's. Not as good as the back, but still pretty okay. And we have a bit more here. So this is the LG G Flex. Um, if there's anything you want me to check out and test the, on this phone, either some games or some scenarios please leave a comment and let me know so i can include it in my uh, reviews and other tests that i'm gonna be doing on this this phone there's nothing here on this side down here you have your jack and you have a microphone and your usb you have a what's it called it's a blaster it's a speaker and you have your sim tray slot there you have I believe a noise cancellation microphone there you have your speaker grill you have some sensors and the front facing camera the back facing camera and your buttons of course is here on the back as LG has been doing for some time since the G2 yeah but let me know thank you for watching this video of me unboxing the LG G flex and remember to subscribe to get more content of this type and of course also the review and more content on the LG G Flex. Subscribe and it would land right there in your subscription folder or what it's called menu. Hmm. Also have a self-healing bag which is exciting. <laughs> kind of. But this is the LG G Flex. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.